given that there was failure to control the large numbers of code, uh, Jan this matter send away, until this court is sure that only the respective parties and their counsel will be in court during the handling of the matter. Counsel, when all is normal, you will apply for here and there. For hearing. Of course, we're disappointed because one of the things we are applying for as a relief is a um, permanent injunction to restrain the police from violating rights. And now that has not been sorted, but we will advise our client and take his instructions on the next step, uh, including seeking redress elsewhere, because the magistrate is not going to hear this case now. Yeah, well, it is clear for the world to see that the court, the judicial system is under siege. Uh, the court here in Bali is under siege, and we are convinced that the uh, magistrate himself has also received orders from above because he has re refused to hear our case. He has said he can only hear our case when everything is back to normal. <laughs> Probably meaning that as you can hear, there's still fine. The opinion is we should petition other authorities to ensure that this matter is heard expeditiously and disposed of. We are on trial. Now that they are besieged and you can even hear uh, police outside here uh, shooting out tear gas gunsters, you realize that the dictatorship in Uganda now is naked for every Ugandan to see, and therefore change is imminent. We cannot uh, anticipate uh, COVID-19 to end soon, but that a case like this, these proceedings will be adjourned, the dying, uh, sign die. Uh, one would not even uh, understand what the magistrate meant by saying that until uh, the situation normalizes. Is it COVID-19? Uh, when is it uh, anticipated to stop? Anyway, so the, you don't see logic, reason and logic in uh, the uh, what we were anticipating as a, a fair determination of this case by the magistrates actually suspending or rather adjourning it sign time.